Welcome back, everyone. It's time to dive deep into the thrilling world of research methodologies. If you missed our last video on longitudinal studies, fear not. You can catch up by clicking the link above. But today, hold on to your seats because we're about to embark on an electrifying journey into the heart of a scientific showdown. Longitudinal studies versus cross-sectional studies. Let's begin. Let me give you a short review. Longitudinal surveys are research tools designed to track the same subjects over some time, providing invaluable insights into how individuals or groups evolve, adapt, or change. This approach is ideal for observing and understanding long-term trends, behaviors, and outcomes. By revisiting the same subjects at different points in their lives or developmental stages, these surveys offer a dynamic perspective on the progression of various phenomena. This method stands out for its ability to identify cause and effect relationships and to measure the impact of specific factors or interventions on the subjects over time. Whether it's tracking the health outcomes of a population, the career progression of a cohort, or the evolving attitudes and beliefs of a demographic group, longitudinal surveys are a powerful tool for researchers aiming to delve deep into the nuances of change and development. If you want to learn more about this survey, check out our previous video. Click the above link. Next is cross-sectional studies. These are research methods that capture data at a specific moment in time, providing a snapshot of a population's skills, knowledge, and competencies. Cross-sectional studies offer a broad, immediate view of how different segments of a population compare at a single point. Picture this. We take a big group of different people and look at them all at the same time. It's like taking a giant group photo. These studies are particularly useful for quickly assessing the current state of a community, demographic, or workforce. They can illuminate prevalent skills, identify knowledge gaps, and highlight training needs at a given time. Additionally, cross-sectional studies are valuable for benchmarking and setting baselines, providing a reference point against which future changes can be measured. Today, let's explore two fundamental approaches, longitudinal and cross-sectional studies, each with its unique strengths and purposes. Let's go through the differences one by one. Number one is diverging paths in data collection. At their heart, longitudinal and cross-sectional studies take different routes in data collection. Longitudinal studies are akin to a time lapse, tracking the same subjects across various stages of their journey, offering a detailed narrative of change and development over time. Cross-sectional studies, however, are more like a snapshot capturing a wide array of subjects at a single moment to provide a comprehensive view of the current landscape. Next difference can be seen while analyzing the data. These paths lead to distinct analytical journeys. Longitudinal research delves into data over time, unraveling patterns of change and potentially pinpointing causes. Cross-sectional analysis, meanwhile, seeks to identify correlations and variations at a fixed point, offering immediate insights but without the dimension of time. Let's analyze their strengths and limitations. Each method has its balance of strengths and challenges. Longitudinal studies excel in tracking evolution and establishing cause and effect but demand considerable time and resources. Cross-sectional studies offer a quick, resource-sufficient glimpse at a broad scene, yet they don't capture the flow of change over time. Where they shine. The choice between longitudinal and cross-sectional hinges on the researcher's aim. Longitudinal studies are invaluable in fields like psychology and health sciences, where understanding long-term trends is crucial. Cross-sectional research is widespread in sociology and market research, ideal for assessing current conditions or opinions efficiently. Choosing the right study design. Selecting these methodologies depends on your research question, resources, and goals. Are you seeking to chart a course of change over time, or do you need to assess the current state of affairs? Your decision will shape the depth and breadth of the insights you aim to uncover. First up, longitudinal studies, the time travelers of research methods. Imagine a group of students embarking on a digital literacy journey. A longitudinal study would be like a series of snapshots, capturing their progress over months or even years to reveal the true impact of their training. This method shines in tracking changes, understanding long-term effects, and spotting trends that only emerge over time, Consider mentorship programs with virtual elements. By following mentor-mentee pairs over time, we can delve into how these relationships evolve and their lasting influence on careers and professional identities. Longitudinal studies offer a window into the dynamics of mentorship, allowing for adjustments and insights into what makes these programs succeed or falter. 
switching gears to cross-sectional studies, think of them as a single, revealing snapshot. When assessing a community's current training needs or evaluating a short-term intervention, like a health awareness workshop, cross-sectional studies provide immediate insights. They're perfect for when you need a quick understanding of the present without the need to track changes over time. These studies are invaluable for policymakers and educators, offering a clear picture of where resources and programs are needed most, based on the community's immediate needs and gaps. Whether you're tracking the gradual development of skills over time with longitudinal studies or capturing a broad overview of current conditions through cross-sectional research, both methodologies offer unique and powerful insights. Choosing the right approach depends on your research goals, timeline, and the story you're aiming to tell. Do you know there is an online solution to help you save tons of hours doing qualitative data analysis? Just simply visit our website sense.sopac.com. If you like this video, then please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.